Hello, welcome to Donna's Creation and More. Today is a collaboration of Just Our Imagination. The host is Kathy Jo DIY, Brenda from Rustic and Lace, and Simply Best Craft is the co-host. We have to use these three items, Luna Foil, Funnel, and Napkins. So my DIY number one for Luna Foil is I took this piece of cardboard and I drew out this leaf design. And you see, it took me a while. Many times of drawing it and erasing. And we are going to make some wall art. Now I'm just going to start cutting it out on camera, but I'm going to finish cutting it out. And I also want to, in advance, apologize for this video so fast. The requirements for this collab, the video must be 30 minutes or less, and I am trying to speed up fast as I can for these DIYs. Because DIY number two took a long time. And so I will be putting these videos up separately and explain them more clearly later on. So I'm just reinforcing it with some toothpicks. And I'm starting that on camera, and then I add a lot more, and then I come back. Just because the cardboard is pretty flimsy, especially after cutting it all out and bending in every direction. I need a lot of stability. So as you see here, I added a lot of toothpicks and a lot of hot glue, especially on my stem part. So here's my aluminum foil. So I'm just going to press it along and get the edge of the cardboard marked onto my foil and cut it out. Now, I tried a couple different ways to figure out which way was easier. This worked okay for the bigger leaves. So I just cut them out and then they get crinkled. So I'm trying to smooth them back out, the foil, to give it this mirror effect. So we can make some glam wall art. So if you're one of my subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. And if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. Subscribing to someone's channel is free if you did not know. It just helps us build our channel and giving us a thumbs up that YouTube know that you like our video and shows you more shows you more content like I do this. many different crafts and different types of DIYs so check out my playlist some sh my videos I'm sure it'll be something you will love from glam home decor to farmhouse regular home decor many different types of DIYs I join in many different collaborations I'm going to be starting resident jewelry soon I also do fake bake and I've been doing a lot of videos on craft room makeover and organization. So here I decided to take a knife. That made it a little bit easier. I finished it off camera and I'm coming back now. I'm using some Elmer's glue. And I'm just going to glue down my foil leaves. Aluminum foil leaves. As you saw this was an Amazon non-stick aluminum foil. And this stuff is pretty darn strong. 
Pretty sick. If anybody used the Dollar Tree for you, oh boy, I hope you were doing something. I don't know, something had to crumble it up or something. I don't know. I hate Dollar Tree little for you. So yeah, I'm just adding on all my little leaves. Now I'm going to take my Elmer's glue and outline each leaf and go around the edges with my paintbrush and sprinkle my handy dandy glitter mixture that I have trying to make sure I get the sides and everything best as I can to be honest it needs another coat just around the edges with just plain fine silver glitter not with this mixture of like four different types of glitter and this video is pretty self-explanatory I really don't think I need to redo this one but when it comes to the next one I don't know, we'll see how it goes I've gotten complaints when a video was so fast because people said that we're supposed to be teaching them and that they're correct that's the whole purpose of us doing videos I have gotten many, many compliments on how well I have described and showed examples in my videos. I had this one comment from this woman. And, I mean, she got nasty too. She was like, and no, I cannot slow down my TV. And I was like, oh boy. And that was in another collaboration. So, I understand where you guys are coming from. So like I said, that's the requirements for the collabs. So I hope that doesn't hurt my channel. If so, I might have to rethink about joining in collaborations. So here's DIY number two. We had to use a funnel. So I have a car funnel here from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut it in half. <laughs> Did not realize that it came apart. <laughs> oh, that was too funny when I realized that. It's a little tough to cut. I'll admit that, but it worked with my kitchen shears. So now I have the decorative foil paper, contact paper, and I'm going to use that and I'm just going to cover these funnels up. I'm actually going to quiz my mom today when she comes over. I'm going to ask her if she knows what these are made of. Because the plunger one, no one can tell it's a plunger. Because it is, turned out to be a beautiful chandelier hanging above right where I'm standing right there. Here's a picture of it. I do have a video on how to make this. And nobody's going to know this was made out of a car funnel just like they did not know that was made out of a plunger I have gotten so many compliments on that I have impressed a lot of people they are pretty stunned by that and so am I actually I actually really love this challenge because you really gotta think outside the box and believe it or not I waited till like the last minute to do this I had no idea what I was going to do. And then when I had this funnel and it wasn't completely round, I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with this thing? And you see how it goes inward where the handle was. And I was thinking of using my kitchen funnel and I'm like, no. Plus, 
plus it was smaller. And I didn't want it super small for this DIY. It would have been really nice to have some like antique metal ones, but I didn't have any of them, of course. Okay, so I got these all covered now. Now it's time to decorate. <clears throat> so I really reinforced this thing with glue. I mean, really reinforced. I fill in a lot of areas with hot glue. I went through a lot of glue sticks. And there's a, like, aluminum foil and this foil paper and hot glue does not go together. So if you make this, also incorporate E6000. Especially on the backing that we're going to add on to next. So here I have some cardboard. I'm just going to make a backing. And cut that out. Then mark where the top is. And then make two. Then I'm going to grab my hand jam and the aluminum foil. See, now I use my aluminum foil twice. <laughs> And you know what, I decided to put foil on this because I'm going to put lights in my, in the, in this, and I needed the foil to reflect the lights. But I'm not completely done. So here I'm just taking some twine and gluing it on to make a little hanger. So I will com totally complete it. the way I wanted it on when I go and redo this video because I didn't want to make this video super long trying to rearrange flowers and design it and add lights and all that because I have two little wine cork fairy lights that I want to add into it So then I'm taking the same old paper I used on the front and I'm covering the back up. Also as I learned, hot glue and foil does not go together so make sure when you put your little hanger on that you're gluing onto the cardboard. I learned that the hard way. You don't have to do this. I just did it because it would bother me. It would just feel incomplete. Now this is where I recommend you incorporate E6000 with it, so it will stay. But I think I had enough hot glue, it ain't going nowhere. Now I'm taking some little mirror tiles and wrapping around the bottom. Again, if you're one of my followers, you know I'm designing this live as I'm recording and I have to make many decisions to figure out what design I want to finish this off. And I will link all this in my description box. I got these from Amazon. I actually got everything from Amazon except for the funnel. Even down to the aluminum foil <laughs> I buy from Amazon. I am an Amazon associate, so if you click on any of the links and add it to your cart, I do earn a little percentage of your purchase. But I will also include my buy me a coffee link and 
my PayPal link if you would like to buy me a coffee or give me a little small donation and you'll end up on my coffee board and get a huge shout out on my videos. I so appreciate it. So I got both, both of them covered with the little mirrors. And I really reinforce it and fill it in. Because you see how it goes, tapers down. And I really wanted to keep that curved shape. So I needed the hot glue to hold it in position. So I had to keep adding hot glue and wait for it to cool and move on. Now I'm trying to figure out my design. I have this. This is Diamond Rod from Dollar Tree. Then I have some, uh, some ribbon from Amazon that's like, I'm gonna say crushed diamonds on it. It's just a whole bunch of diamonds on a sticker. And then I have another mirrored diamond thing I'm gonna be using. So I'm adding in the diamond bling wrap to cover up this funnel thing. But I'm making sure it stands outward. So we have like the same design almost. So it's not looking all funky because the way the funnel goes down, tapers down and it has all them ridges from when the other piece was on so then I'm adding another row of the bling wrap on because I didn't want to see any of black really showing so here's where I take the sticky crushed diamonds and I add them one to the bottom and then I'm adding another layer Again, reinforcing that very good. And then I'm going to take my fancy little thing here with mirrors and diamonds on it. And I'm going to add that underneath that layer of mirrors on top of that bling wrap. So I put the bling wrap down, but I covered it all up. But I want the bling wrap there so you can see any of the black. So I'm just continuing the same process on the next one. Now I did have a different idea with this funnel. And that had to do with my resin. But I just set up my resin station. Like literally the other day. So I will have another video coming up using the funnel. But I'm going to look for the antique metal ones like at um, Habitat for Humanity or Goodwill or yard sales. And hopefully I can find them and incorporate that on a collaboration on the, a thrift foot. Adding my crushed diamonds again. Really reinforcing it and filling in with glue a lot. Add the little diamond mirror tile ribbon on there. And another thing across diamonds across it. Make it sort of straight. Got a little wonky on me. My back was really hurting. And I'm like leaning on the counter trying to do this um, DIY here. But I got it done. So 
seriously, I keep going back in with glue and glue. I used a lot of glue. So there's what we have so far. Now we gotta decorate the top. And I decided to just take these bigger mirror tiles. And I'm gonna add them around the top of these. If you haven't guessed yet, I'm making wall sconces. But I didn't add the lights in yet. The little fairy light. These mirror tiles cover up that wonky looking edge and hides the rim of the funnel and just makes it look clean and nice looking. So I didn't add the fairy lights yet because I still want to add more flowers and all to it. And again, because I didn't want to make this video super long. So I cut a lot of it out and left a lot of it out. Then I decided to take some more of that diamond decorative ribbon and add it on the very bottom also. Then I have two crystal balls here, and I'm just going to add some fishing line to that, and just tie it a really sturdy knot, so I can be able to hang these inside. Now I'm going to stick it through the bottom, hot glue it, the, not the glass, I'm only hot gluing the um, fishing line. And then I'm putting a piece of tape in to try to hold the string tight while the glue sets in. I was going to put foam inside of these, four foam, and I popped the back off. But I was like, I don't even need four foam inside these to add my flowers. So I had to glue it back on. And then there I have some two birches. And I'm going to add them to the center. And then I have some crystal gems. And I'm going to add them. Two on each side. And I'll finish the second one off camera. Because I only had four of them sitting there and forgot I needed eight. So I add the other four on off camera. And then you'll see what both of these look like hanging on my wall. I add this in my hallway. And here's what it looks like. That mirrors I made too. If I have time to add in extra flowers and the fairy lights, I will include that at the end of the video. But if not, this will be the final reveal of this item, two items, and then we'll get on with the third one. And I just have them hanging up some little sticky hooks. But I think it's absolutely pretty. That wall needed something bad. I can't wait to get it completed. I hate leaving a project incomplete. But I'll get it done. And hopefully in time before this video is due at 7 p.m. today. But I still have the other DIY to finish. And then upload it to YouTube. Okay, here's a preview with added extra flowers in the lights. I only got one done, but I wanted to share it with you. I know the color looks funky, it looks blue, but they're actually white. And here's with the flash on. It just doesn't do it justice as it does in person. But it's super, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So now with the next DIY with the napkins. So I have these parrot napkins, 
and I have these four coasters that I already coated in Mod Podge and let it dry, excuse me, let it dry and I was going to do just the parrots and I side it but I'm just going to use the one napkin so it's a two ply napkin so I'm going to take it apart very carefully and I will be selling these in my Etsy store as soon as I get them in my up on my store I will link it in my description box for sale so I'm just going to cut all four pieces out line it up to where I want it And then take a piece of parchment paper and my handy dandy cheap little seven or eight dollar iron I got off of Amazon and I'm gonna iron it on and this was my first time ever doing this and I have to thank my friend Maxine who's another youtuber one of my friends for showing me how to do this on one of her videos so Thank you, Maxine. And it does work. No crinkles, no nothing. The iron heats up the Mod Pods and the napkin sticks. So I'm just taking my sander I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just sanding off the ex ex excess off the edge. Sorry, you guys. Then I have these cork board backings and these little like door stoppers, rubber door stoppers that I got off of Amazon and I'm just going to add them to my coaster that way they're nice and protected and will protect your furniture then I'm going to take my dishwasher safe Mod Pods because we want this super waterproof and I'm going to give it a coat a nice even coat and make sure I get my edges very well and then I feather it out and I let it dry and I do do a second coat on these and when you do dishwasher Mod Podge you must let it cure for 30 days before you use them so now I'm going to do the second pattern show you guys one more time and then I'll finish them off camera and show you the final reveal and there I was showing you the parts for paper I will add this little iron in my description box too if you're interested in that and the corkboard and bumpers and tiles I'm going to do, repeat the process. I earned it on. I'm just going to take my little sanding block that's on the fine grit and just file it off. You can use a nail file. And just add my cork packing again and my little rubber bumpers. And then give it a nice coat of the Mod Podge. And then again, I finished the other two off camera and gave them a second coat after I filmed and showed you the final reveal. And here's what they look like. And this is just with one coat of Mod Podge, like I said. I did a second. I'll see how well they look and see if they need a third. I have been wanting to do these for a very long time. I bought these napkins a long time ago when I was doing bird shows and these coasters and all these supplies. 
So I'm super excited that we had to do napkins and I got a chance to actually do one of my projects that I've had that I've been wanting to do for so long. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.